let's look at the histology of the urethra. We said that the urethra is a tube that allows the transportation of urine that is stored in the urinary bladder to be emptied outside of the body. So in this lecture, we'll be focusing just on the histology of the urethra. The wall is made up of three subdivisions. It is made up of the mucous membrane layer. It is made up of the submucosa layer. Lastly, it is made up of the muscular layer. So this is where we have the mucosa lining, which is the most internal layer. This layer is basically made up of epithelium lining. The second layer is the submucosa layer, which is the layer that is seen below the mucosa layer. Then the third layer is the muscular layer, and this is made up of smooth muscle. This is the central lumen of the urethra. This is the place or the region where the urine is transported through. So we'll be taking these subdivisions one after the other to see what they are made up of. The mucous lining. The mucous lining generally in both male and female are different. And this is due to the specification that we have in the urethra in both male and female. For the male, there is a form of transformation of epithelium lining from one region to the other. If you check up our lecture on the urethra, we we'll see that we have described that the urethra is divided into regions. And as they are divided into regions, they are lined by different epithelium. The histological section will also help us know the region of the urethra that is being processed because of the future that they will present in their mucosa lining. For the initial segment of the urethra, which includes the pre-prostatic urethra and also the prostatic urethra, these two regions are lined by transitional type of epithelium. So what you see in their mucosa lining is a transitional type of epithelium. This epithelium lining tends to be continuous with what is seen in the mucosa layer of the urinary bladder. They have the same epithelium lining as what is seen within the mucosa layer of the urinary bladder. So it tends to be continuous with it. And that is why we have the same type of epithelium lining the initial segment of the urethra. So we see transitional type of epithelium in layers. Then going further distally, we have the membranous urethra. The membranous urethra is a short region between the prostatic urethra and the spongy urethra. So this region here, is lined by a pseudo-stratified columnar type of epithelium. You can see that there is a change. So when you process histological section of this region, what you will see in the amucosa lining is a pseudo-stratified columnar type of epithelium. And also going further more distally, we have the spongy urethra or the pena urethra. This is the region of the urethra that tends to run through the penis. And this is also lined by pseudo-stratified columnar type of epithelium. So it tends to be continuous with lining of the membranous urethra. But if you look at the terminal end of the penile urethra or the spongy urethra, going through this end, they are lined by a stratified squamous type of epithelium. As we know that the skin is close to this region, so this region tends to be lined by the epithelium that is continuous with the epithelium lining of the skin because it's gradually opening into the outside. And this means that if this region of the urethra is processed, what we would see in the amucosa lining is a stratified squamous type of epithelium. So you can see that the histological section of the urethra in male may tend to be kind of complicated. And also it's very interesting, depending on the region where the urethra is taken from. So you can see how this is presented. So for us to be guided, when going through histological section of the urethra. So going to the female mucosa layer, it's also kind of applicable to what we see in male, but not as complicated as what it is saying, because we know that the male urethra is longer and it has a number of regions, depending on where they pass through. For the upper to third of the urethra in female, it is lined by transitional type of epithelium. At the superior to third of the urethra, which means that this region will be lined by transitional type of epithelium. And we know that the mucosal layer of the urinary bladder is lined by transitional type of epithelium. This tends to continue with the epithelium lining of what you have in the urinary bladder. And this means that in the inferior one third will be lined by epithelium lining of the skin because this tends to also be continuous with the skin on the outside. So the inferior one third is lined by stratified squamous type of epithelium. You can see how interesting this is. It's just 
us to know the different regions that is being captured, then when you view the histological section, you'll be able to deduce what specific region is being processed into the histological section. So going through the submucosal lining, we said that the submucosal lining is the region that is seen below the mucosal lining, just as the name implies, sub means below. And this layer tends to create like a structural support or tends to help hold the mucosal lining in place. If you look critically deep into the mucosal lining, what we'd see in this region are basically blood vessels and also nerves. We also see urethral glands. This urethral gland secretes mucus and it's been directed towards the lumen of the urethra. More to the outside, we have the muscularis layer, which takes the bulk of the urethra. So this is made up of smooth type of muscle. So thanks for watching this video. Let's meet again.